right, guys. Um, I'm sitting here without power, so hence you will see this freaky screen of a sc um, my main screen recording, my main screen recording, my main screen, and so on. Um, so before my laptop's power goes off completely, I quickly wanted to um, reintroduce you to HTML. Um, I can't do a refresher um, of all the tags that you have um, learned with Mr. Funamava last year, but um, however, I, just the main things before we are going to um, look at some of the new work um, that you need to do. So for those of you um, who have data but you don't have a computer, um, in the link that I'm sending you, I found a website that has a HTML code editor. So where you can type in your, um, I, I suspect that you can use a tablet um, to open that link um, open the editor and, you know, type in the code. And then it has a display area that displays the website as, you know, um, a web browser would. Um, obviously, it's got limitations, it wouldn't show pictures and so on, but links and we are specifically going to look at table tags um, to add tables to our um, websites um, that should um, display um, in the right way. So um, please check out that website if you don't have a computer. But um, let's not talk um, more about this. I want to keep this uh, nice and short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually close um, my um, program that's recording. So the freakiness will disappear just like that. All right. Um, so to, in order to create a website, we need a notepad. So I'm going to open a new one. Um, and we will save this. Um, or I hope you remember, still save as. Um, and then I will also save it on my desktop. Um, you can choose your location. I'm going to create a, um, a folder that will say um, my website. And then in that website folder, I will now, um, you can say all files, and I will call it home.html. Okay, very important that you don't keep it as a text file, but that you actually um, save it as HTML, or I think HTM um, would also work. Those are the two file extensions that um, are readable by the web browser. So I'm going to save this. So on my desktop somewhere, um, if I can find it, um, there, there's a folder. I'm going to open this and there is my website. If I open this, my it opens in the browser and as you can see, my website is nice and blank. So um, let's start with some recap. So I'm going to um, close this or just minimize and minimize this as well. I'm going to open this as large as I can. Um, I'm actually going to open zoom it um, so that I can zoom in um, as I type like this. All right. So the first um, tag, the we, I call it always a sandwich. It's our HTML structure. Every HTML website um, needs these, these, this basic structure. And we have two parts to our HTMLs. So we, we have to tell the browser, hey, what, what follows is HTML because HTML is not the only coding language that websites read or web browsers read. So HTML, this is open tag. Um, if you remember correctly, um, we have a closing tag as well, which is a forward slash HTML. And I'm, I'm calling this a sandwich because it's always an open tag and a closing tag, and then something goes in between. 
So we start with the HTML, and then there are two parts, and we usually would um, indent our code so that it's easily read. So in this case, we have a head, um, and the head also gets closed. Um, and then we have a body, and the body gets closed. Um, just like that. I'm going to. And now our code for the website goes in here. Um, the only thing that we actually put in our head, between our head tags, is the title. Um, so again, title, and I can give it this is my website. And then we could close it. Title. Just like that. <clears throat> if I um, save this, and actually, I want to um, open my um, website here. If I refresh this by pressing F5, you can see my tab changed the caption. This is my website. So the title tag of our HTML um, code actually displays our title in our tab over here. Um, all right, let's minimize this again. Okay, and then we, I'm not, I'm not going to really um, write any, create a website for you now. I'm just going to write some of the tags that you are supposed to know. So um, the first one was H1, um, and then obviously all of them have a closing um, tag as well. Um, there's a few exceptions. Um, so this one can go to, from H1 to um, H6, H2, H2, and so on. Um, I can actually, and I want to say, um, this is my heading. And I'm going to actually copy and paste this um, to be quick. All right. Um, oh. Don't worry. Do this. And now I can simply do this. And the closing obviously has to correspond with that. To, oh, I don't want to do it too quick, right? So, um, just to show you what this does, um, I have to open my web browser. Difficult when, and now if I refresh this, this is my heading. You can see heading one is the biggest, heading six is the smallest. Okay, that's heading. Um, Let's open our thingy again. Okay, so um, we have a heading tag. We have um, uh, making something bold, so that would go in between there. Making something italic um, would be this. Making something underlined would be a U tag. Um, then we have a, a paragraph tag, um, which is the P, um, just like that. We have a, um, a line break, um, which is, I think it's BR, um, but this one is one of the exceptions, as well as our image tag. Um, they don't have closing tags. They actually have only one tag. We have our horizontal rule. Um, and I, I'm sure this has been now a year, so I might even um, make do this mis make a mistake here. Um, it might be that the horizontal rule has also no closing tag, but as far as I know, um, it actually does. Um, I will correct myself later on. Okay, then we have an 
a link tag which is looks like this um i'm trying to remember um last year's tags um but usually in a test you will get a tag sheet and as we practice our tags um this is what i can remember out of the head of um you know top of my head and we're gonna um improve on these things so for today um i'm going to introduce you to some other tags um which i will place here so for now um let's open our textbook um and i'm gonna zoom out again so that we can actually see so this is um, HTML web design and we're going to specifically look at um, designing um, websites with tables All right so um, oh here they actually have the entire list okay so HTML head body we, I talked about that ER is our break um, HR horizontal rule P those are structural we have title, I looked at this, our, our font tag, um, you can specify the type and the size and the color and so on of our actual font. Then we have, you have looked at list tags, OL is an audit list, so that would be one, two, three, um, four, etc. Um, UL is an unordered list, that would be bullet points. And um, I'm sure that you've already had um, some arguments or parameters inside your tags which could change you know the appearance of the bullet for example from um, from a round bullet to a square and we do that by the parameter called type equals and then we have always um, quotation marks that our you know our value goes in um, we have our image and now we are going to look at these six um, tags table so we have to tell our website listen um, what follows is a table um, then we have a table row tag a table header tag and table data tag um, the table header only appears once in our table which is the first you know um kind of row that we that we use um so for each row in our table we use tr with its corresponding closing tag and inside this tr for the first row we will use th for every column um that we want and then call span and row span are used to merge um, rows or columns if you want to um, you know have a heading go across um, various um, columns etc so we would use make use of those right so table elements then um, so table table closed and I've already actually talked about this um, so here we have our um, our sandwich so we have our table inside the table we can use um, some you know add some properties to our table tag in this case we have border um, we have um, cell spacing we have cell padding um, so we're going to look at some of the properties that we can add to our um, our tags um, some of the, these properties can go into the um, you know table row tag as well but this is the basic structure so we we let the web browser know okay what follows is a table um, that has a border um, then we have our first row and you can count it's got three columns and these are headers now so they are automatically made bold and I almost think they are centered automatically as well. I'm speaking under correction. Um, and we have tour, days, and depart. Um, and then the first row is finished. Then we have the second row. 
very important that we have to have the second row must have the same number of um, columns than our first row. If not, we would have to use something called um, call span um, to level that out. So in this case, we have three um, elements over there in our third row, three elements in our fourth row, um, four elements, and we're closing our table and then this is how it will look yeah it centers our um, our headers you can see it's bold there's a border and it adds um, our information you can see that you know the spacing of this doesn't look very professional so we will um, we will look at that a little later um, right over here Okay, so um, we have the border attribute um, specifying the border, so you can play around with you know one, two, three, four, etc. Um, with the thickness of the border. Um, okay, so um, we have the following attributes we can use with our table tag: a line, so we can center it right, um, left. Um, again, I told you, we have our attribute, equal sign, and we have the quotation marks around our value that we assign to the property of the tag. So a line border, we've seen already, border color, background color, which will, you know, highlight the entire um, um, background of the table. Okay, the border color does what it says. And here we have the cell padding, which is the space between the text and the cell that the text is in. And then we have cell spacing, which is the space between two separate cells. Again, you will have to play around with the number and the thickness and the spacing. Um, as you, and then we have the width. Um, there's two different ways in which we can use this. The first one is we can use the number of pixels that our table um, width should be. Um, uh, 800 or 1000, depending on the screen size. Um, it's the width of the table on the screen. Or we can use, if you are un, you know, unsure of how you know, the different screen sizes, you can use something called um, or a percentage. So 50% means that it would use half of the screen, whereas 100% would make the table appear on the entire website. All right, so for today, I would like you to um, do this activity. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, because some of you, if you don't have a computer and you just have your device, it's going to be very difficult to um open these activities and my power is back on um anyways i'm going to finish this like this because i'm not willing to repeat everything um so for those of you who don't have a computer and are doing this on your tablet um create your own website um with you know the tags even if it takes you a little longer that's okay um, what I want you to do is to actually um, practice, um, you know, the, the, the new tags. And the period two starts? No, not yet. Um, when you see this, period three has gone by already because we have class in period four. Um, all right, so um, create your own. Use all the tags that um, I talked about and see if you can make them work and see what they do change the attribute you know numbers values to something else um, so that's all that there is for today um, as an introduction revise some of last year's um, tags and create a website or a virtual website if you're on the tablet um, that incorporates all those tags and please communicate and let me know if it's working or if it's not, 
what the challenges are. Um, but remember, for your pet, um, you will need to create a website in phase um, three. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, hope this helped. I have to get up this crazy screen again um, to stop recording. But all the best, guys.